Hello friends, how are you doing, doing today? So in this video, I'm going to share a new project uh, with you. And it's uh, a project related to Airtable. So if you are a user of uh, Airtable and at the same time, if you are a user of the Google Sheet, I think I think you need to, uh, it will be your interest to check this video, okay? So here is in the L table, I have a base here called App Script Database. Okay, let's go into this database. So in this database, I have two uh, tables here. So the first one is users, and another one is uh, Material Masters. Okay, so in the first table, I have uh, three record here and with five columns. So I have a name, email, form, and a password. And the last column is a join date. So in my spreadsheet here, I have the tool, I have the app uh, built in this spreadsheet. So as you can see here, I have a menu called Airtable and I can have two options here to read data from the Airtable and I can process some uh, update or a change or create new uh, record to this table with this process function here. And uh, the last one is the settings, basically is the configurations for your L table. All right, so let me give it a demo very quickly. First, let's read the data from the L table. So if I run this function, read users, as you can see here, this table is refreshed and I put all the data from the L table to the spreadsheet very quickly. All right, so you've got the idea and uh, this is uh, the purpose of this project and uh, if you make a copy of my tool you maybe not you may not see these two options here that's because uh, at the first time you open the the app you need to do some configurations in this settings section here so let's go to the settings here in the settings i have three uh, okay we have three parameters uh, very important uh, parameters uh, relate uh, in, uh, you can get from the L table okay so basically is a table name of your table in the L table base and the base ID of your L table base and the last one is API key okay so let me show you how to retrieve these three parameters from the L table okay so you need to go to the L table or the L table API. So I suggest you to go to the L table API here. So in the L table API, you need to choose. So let's start from the beginning. Click this L table API. No. Right. So choose the, the base you needed to use in this uh, apps in the app script project. Alright. So so this is the ID of the base. Alright, you need to copy this uh, base ID and pass it here as a base ID. And the table name, as you can see here, I have a users table and I also have a material master table. So basically you just put the name of your table here. And the last one is the most important one is API key. So if you go to this section here and uh, you click this account page and it will bring you to the account page and in your account page, you should be able to copy this uh, API from here, okay? So you can regenerate it. So you basically copy this uh, API key and uh, pass it here. So once you got all of three parameters, you need to save the settings to the spreadsheet. All right. So it's not in the spreadsheet uh, at the front end; it's a back end of the spreadsheet. Okay. You won't see the data if you uh, at the at the front end. Okay. So. Uh, once you save that, you should be able to see these two options here. And now you can read data from the L table 
and uh, you can process some uh, actions to your table. Okay, so let's try to uh, use this process buttons here to do some uh, actions to our table. So first, uh, so the last column, uh, this underscore action uh, column is used for to uh, take actions to the record. Okay, so basically you have four, you have three options. You you can update the record, you can delete this record, and you can create a new one. Okay. So first of all, we need to, I'd like to maybe update the first one and uh, we're going to delete the second one and uh, we're going to create uh, this, we're going to create a new one for the last, uh, last record here. All right, so for the first one, let me change the email address. So let's go email changed at gmail.com okay I just changed this let me highlight it so we can compare the result so I just changed this email address and for the, the second one I don't need to do anything because uh, because I'm going to delete all of this data from the database all right so for the update if you don't want to update the other field you can leave it at the current value also you can remove them as empty okay so for the last one is so basically this is going to create a new record all right so let's try to do a new so this is new email at gmail.com i also changed this value and I also highlighted so we can see the result and for this name i'd like to change to new name so I only change the name and the through the color so for the update I only update the email for the new record I only update this uh, email and the name all right so right now if we check the table where is the table the table okay let me get my table back. So the table is the last one is Katy Perry, I think. Table. All right. So the table, the last one is Katy Perry. So let's try to run this function here to process all of these actions here. All right. You got a confirmation message box like this. So select yes. Okay, so the change uh, has been done, all right? And you need to run the read function to see the result. All right, so if you if now check the table here, okay, I still get the Katy Perry, Katy Perry. No. That's weird. I think I over Write the data. So this is great. Okay, it, actually, it's, it's category should be here. So you because this carry shown will be deleted. So you will still see the category, but the new name is added. All right, let's go through go through this very quickly. So for the first record, the email I only changed the email address. So the email changed. So if you now check the email, so is the email changed? All the other information are still the same. For the second record, it's, all, it's removed from the database. So uh, if you check uh, the database here, we don't have a name called carry in this uh, in the record, okay? So that's why the second line is deleted from the database. And the last one, I, I create a new record with a new name and a new email address so this is a new name new email address but all the rest information are the same with Katy Perry okay because we made a copy of the Katy Perry record all right so it looks like everything uh, was just fine so if I try to run this refer with uh, users I should get all the latest data from the L table okay so so just uh, simple like this 
so you can add more record you'd like to add a new one or you also can remove the record you don't want to uh, keep them in the database and you also can do some changes right so the last thing I'd like to share is to change table okay so uh, what if you need to do some change uh, with this material mass table okay so as, as, as you can see here in this uh, L table base you have uh, multiple uh, tables in this base so let's try to change the table to material master so you go to the L table menu and go to settings the only thing you need to do you need to change the uh, table name okay so just change this users to material masters and uh, save the settings all right so after you saved the settings successfully you should uh, you will see uh, this button also the caption of this button is also changed and as you can see here the table name is also uh, added here so you can see so you know what table you are now trying to do some actions with them okay so let's try to run this read and I read all the data from the material master and put them here uh, in this table it is a little bit different because we have a column uh, attachment column in this uh, in this table so as you can see here I have a column here called attachment and I handle the data I just uh, put uh, all of this data as a JSON object and uh, parse them as a string so I put all of this content in this cell but uh, if we if you have attachment field in your table I think you will have some issues to to create a new to upload the attachment from the spreadsheet that may be a limit of this uh, of this tool but you can uh, create the new record without the attachment okay so let me show you if I try to create a new one I need to remove this attachment because this format is not supported I, I think I cannot uh, upload an attachment with data uh, like this all right so I think I can leave the rest of them and I only change the part number the material number to one two three four and I try to add a new record uh, to the database and I come to process uh, the actions all right so there is no error and I suppose to add this new record to the database but as you can see here there is no attachment uh, with this new record so if I try to read this data again there is an issue here okay no issue but as you can see here I have no attachment here alright so uh, that's a limit of this tool and uh, you I don't I don't know if you can do that in the app script so maybe you need some time to figure it out so if you basically if your your table you don't want to handle a lot of files and I think this tool may be very useful for you to handle things like this and uh, you don't have to uh, do it manually here in the L table all right and uh, maybe one last thing I need to mention is uh, in this read data I is this read read function here is going to read all the data from the database okay all the record so if you have a table very large table uh, this may be uh, I, I didn't test it because I don't have a very large table so you can do the changes here uh, because there in this uh, list records uh, query here you have a lot of parameters you can use uh, like uh, like this maybe the maximum records you need to pull from your database and you also can give some filter so you don't you only 
get the data you need. Okay, so you don't have to pull all the data you want. As you can see here, we have a filter by formula, so which I didn't uh, apply it to this uh, in the, in this app, but you can do it with this filter uh, filter by formula. Okay, so I think that's the last thing I need to mention here. Okay, so I think that's all for today's video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.